I am not getting a Ferrari 458. Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to another video where today you join me on day two of the Geneva Motor Show. I'm loving it so far. In my previous video I mentioned I've kindly been invited down here by Tag Heuer. So I'm basically based at this stand which is seriously, seriously cool. They've got some amazing cars on here. I'll show you a little bit more if you haven't seen my previous video. You know I'm going with this one. Uh, what is here? And today I'm going to obviously be showing you a lot of the cars at the Motor Show but before we go and see some of the cars and there is some amazing ones tag Heuer are announcing some partnerships and the press conference is just about to begin one car I didn't show in my previous video is this this is a Mirage and this raced in the Le Mans 24 hours are you I race in that I'm sure you're all well aware what I do want to show you this picture here that is Steve McQueen legend in racing and movie star as well but if we go over here that is his watch that's a piece of history right there i love seeing like motorsport history because my grandfather winning le mans in 1953 it's sort of been part of my family for years and years so when you sort of see sort of old sort of race helmets and things like that that's sort of been me since growing up so it's been around my life for the whole time so sort of seeing it at events and the history that they have is really really incredible seb's here hello seb you ready for the press conference? I am. There's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a very proud moment to be here with all these these different icons and it's you know it's perfect tag her timing that we're all here. The press conference is now completed. It was quite difficult to film because we were quite at the back. But Tag Heuer were basically announcing a couple of their partnerships. One of these is with Golf Oil, and uh, this obviously goes with their whole heritage of motorsport. Another one is with Aston Martin Racing. They're racing at uh, Le Mans 24 Hours, and Aston Martin Racing are now big partners of Red Bull Racing. A stand we are heading to is the Ferrari stand. I did go there in my last video, but I just want to go there just to sort of... I don't know, like, a 458 obviously is never going to be on display here. Um, but I just want that Ferrari sort of feel. And yeah, like I did mention, I have until the 10th of March uh, where Redline Specialist Cars is basically a big meet and Tom, TGE, and his brother, JE, the one with the spaghetti on his head, they're collecting new cars and I want to join the party and that is my deadline, basically. Literally, deadline. So I have probably 12 hours, not even that, to sort the car which I want, which is stressful but exciting at the same time. I have my options kind of lined up and all it's going to take now is phone calls and persuading in different ways from certain people. I'm um, going to talk to a few different people that are here, get their views and then just come up with a conclusion. So by the end of this video, I'm going to know pretty much what the car is. Carbon fibre everywhere. That's pretty sick. And if we walk over to here, that does look cool, if I'm honest with you. But that carbon fibre, I keep walking towards it. That's a lot of carbon fibre. That is quite a bit of it, yes. Yeah. We do like carbon fibre. We do like carbon fibre. I'm not going to touch it. Um, look, at all the, look at the gold. Have you seen the gold inside? It's mad. Yes. Mr. Car Vlogger is here. Hello, my friend. We are back on the Ferrari stand. Behind me, we are joined with the 488 Pista. It does look seriously, seriously cool, doesn't it? But what I am going to do is I'm going to sit inside it. And that is going to be cool, just to sit inside it and see all the little finer details just in the interior. Because obviously these cars, you see them from the outside, and they look amazing, don't get me wrong. Um, but when you sit in them, I think that's the full Ferrari experience. And, you know, looking for a 458, etc. Here we go. We're jumping in. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Um, we're jumping in. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so nice be in here. Be careful, be careful. Are you in? I'm in. No, oh, mate, this is so nice. Can we shut the Let's door? Close the doors for Let's the close the doors. You know what? It's actually quite nice. It's silent in here, isn't it? Look at but this Alcantara. Look. This feels amazing, doesn't it? Oh, Alcantara. I tell you what, the seats are quite hard, aren't they? Yeah, they're definitely hard. But you've got these harnesses which sort of come over the top so you can sort of have these like this. Yeah, put one on. I'm putting two on. <laughs> I'm actually stuck. But apart from that, oh, it's nice. There mate. it is, Ferrari logo. Ferrari logo, and that is one thing that is very powerful. What car do you think I should get? Tell me what you think. 
I'm a I've got hours to spare, so I'm just make sure you go with your... I'm a GT3 guy, and I think you should buy a GT3 manual. We're sitting in a Ferrari. Yeah, no, we're sitting in a Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari take pizza with it. I think you should get a Porsche GT3 manual. It's all this carbon fiber which you got in here, everywhere. Obviously, you can imagine the full experience of all the lights coming up here. And we have matte carbon fiber. Matte so. carbon fiber, which is so nice. Uh, you have all the different race modes. I don't know if we're allowed to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, and then, three, two, one. No. <laughs> I would be killed. I don't know if you can hear me very well here, because we've just turned up to the McLaren stand, and they're just playing a, a very cool air centerpiece. But what I haven't spoken to you guys about is the potential to get a McLaren. I haven't really spoken to you guys about it, but it has been on my radar. The 570, um, I really do like this car, and it is in budget and I have spoken to a fair few people and it could potentially could be an option. I'm here with Big Tone, he's morning. back again. Morning. Hello, morning, the frog. The frog, <laughs> how dare you. We found a sleeping man from Watford. A sleeping man? I'm trying to go camo so you don't <laughs> see me. <laughs> measuring how tall we use. Supercars with the most craziest body kits and I just feel like I should film them because no one else is going to film them. You like body kits? You like exhaust? You like exhaust? Oh you like yeah, body kits? exhaust on this player. I there. bet you saw them like, oh. Hello. Barker's here. We're vlogging. It's a double vlog. It's Boom. A double vlog. It's a triple vlog. Bring it up. Then we got Tony. And we, we, we're uh, missing. Not He's not a vlogger. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm loving it. Doing the show? What's your favourite car? That's pretty hard. I don't know. We I am liking the Remark concept too. Quick you get. These three opinion on what my new car should be. This man, you may all probably know, owns a ridiculous Lamborghini Huracan. I do. Yeah, I've got a supercharged Huracan. It does not to 60 in 2.3 seconds. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah. That is so yeah. stupid. It's stupid. But I think it's the move to go from an R8 to a Huracan. Even though that makes literally no Look sense. Look at him laughing makes, in the back. It makes so little sense that so you should probably do it. You reckon? Yeah. Because it's a Lambo. Yeah. And you can modify it. You can modify it. Well, you can do all the same things to the to the R8, but you can. But you <laughs> but you've enjoyed modifying it. You've enjoyed the I've car. Loved it, yeah. And the supercharger is quite out there. It's ridiculous. Do you regret the supercharger bit? Not. No. First time I drove it, I regretted not getting it earlier. Really? Archie Hamilton. That's nice. buying a new car. Archie Hamilton racing. <laughs> <laughs> and what car? Go on. Uh, Ferrari. Why? Oh, Ferrari. Uh, I'm Paul Tatter. You've owned many supercars. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky. Yeah, okay. He's more supercars okay. than me and okay. he owns them all at once. Okay, your view. <laughs> My view. I think <coughs> Lambo is by far the coolest. I think having driven and seen your reaction of you driving the R8 RWS, I'm just going to plant the seed in there. Yeah. Lambo. Yeah. I see where you, I see where you. Follow my story, bro. Should have bought my car. Oh, damn it. That would have been a cool story. We'll leave it there. You're a racing driver. Used to be. Oh, yeah. Was I good at racing, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Something which is seriously cool. Boom. Look at that. That looks wicked. And the Lamborghini Urus as well. That is here. First time I've seen that in person. I do think that looks very cool. Will I buy one? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool 4x4, let's be honest. If, that, if you're going to have a 4x4, that is a pretty baller way of going about it. Having a Lamborghini as your sort of everyday car. But if you look at it from this angle as well, yeah, it's pretty, pretty stunning bit of kit, isn't it? This Aventador is just so nice. That colour and everything else. Perfumante Spider, still not a fan. Honestly, I've tried, but I just think the roof off, I just don't know. But from the back, obviously it does look very good. Um, but yeah, I just, oh, I just don't know. With the roof, just makes the whole shape of that car seem so much better. So we've made it back to the Tag Heuer stand. It's been an amazing privilege to be invited out here by Tag Heuer. It really, really has. What I also have been doing is I've been on the simulator, sort of getting very, very competitive, uh, because, you know, being an ex-racing driver, you sort of, these things happen. If you are coming down to the Geneva Motor Show, make sure you do come and check out the Tag Heuer stand. Basically, there's a leaderboard of uh, times that you can do on the simulator. Hopefully, my time will be on there by the time this video ends and the top by the time you come down. So, do come check it out if you're coming to the Geneva Motor Show. It is a lot of fun, but I do have some news that I do need to break to you. So, uh, I'm going to sit down and do that. So, like I mentioned, I have some news that I need to break to you all. And as I, you, a lot of you are probably aware, I am on the hunt to find my new supercar and have been the last couple of days and have been since my R8 got sold unexpectedly. 
I have some bad news in terms of one car which, well, it's basically my dream car and a lot of you guys also wanted to see this car on my channel and this is the Ferrari 458. It's bad news. Unfortunately, this car is not going to be happening. I am not getting a Ferrari 458. This might come to a shock to a lot of you. It's a really tricky one, and obviously I've stated so many times that I do want to get a Ferrari 458, but it just hasn't worked out. It really hasn't worked out, and one of the main reasons is price. Some of you might be aware, in terms of 458s with the service pack, etc., it's one thing which is very important, and you need to get this absolutely nailed, and it all has to line up and you have to have a carbon driving zone etc and this just is a little bit too much money you ideally need a 2014 car if you want all the servicing the warranty etc if you do want a really good 458 the budget is just a little bit too high for me and I felt I was just stretching myself I was just stretching myself too much I really was and I want to obviously bring amazing content to you all but I also don't want to be sort of stressed out in terms of I can't afford this basically so I've had to rule the Ferrari 458 out and it is gutting but when there's bad news sometimes there is good news and my new car from what I've heard has been found it's gonna be seriously seriously exciting it's not the 458 that is ruled out but my new car has been found and it's happening this Saturday and I'm collecting it so I'm buzzing and I can't quite believe it really.